Welcome back to the channel, my sweets. If you're new here, please join the sweet gang because life is sweet over here. And if when you do join, your life will become sweeter. So today's video is a video that is, um, is very near and dear to my heart, <laughs> to say the least. This one here is something I'm eagerly waiting for, patiently waiting for, unpatiently waiting for, just like, you know, just waiting for. So this video today is God told me who my husband is. And I'm using present tense is because it hasn't happened yet. This is in real time. Again, this is in real time. So again, I'm gonna show you my phone. Today is November 10th, Friday, November 10th, and it is 5.02, 5.02. I use military time because I am a nurse and that's what we use on the units. So I need to show you the time so that you know that this was made November 10th at 5.02. So when things start to happen, God will get the glory because that is the point of these videos. So yes, um, God told me who my husband is. And this is also to help women who are instructed of who, not instructed, but revealed to who their husband, who their husband is. And they don't know what to do, you know? Um, it's been about a year and some change where now God has, you know, revealed to me who the person is. And yeah, it's, 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 it can be a very stressful time. If you let it be a stressful time, it can be, it's a very, um, <laughs> it is a very stressful time to say the least. I'm laughing because this is very real for me. This is very real for me. So it is a it is an emotional roller coaster. It is an emotional roller coaster. Uh, so yes. So I'm gonna give like five things to do. What I believe you should do when God reveals to you who your husband is. Um. So number one, I would say. Ooh. My bad. Number one, I would say focus on God. Like literally focus on Him. Um. When you focus on God and not the situation, because when, okay, so if you focus on the situation, like, oh my gosh, like, when is it going to happen? You know, should I say something to him? First of all, from my experience and my prayers and what I'm going through, God has instructed me not to say anything to the person. You don't say anything to the person. I would think he would lead you not to say anything to the person because literally the Bible says when a man finds a wife. So you don't want to go up to the person, hey, what's up? You know, like God told me, no, 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 no. no. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Um, literally, so my, my piece of advice, I would say number one, like I said, is focus on God. God's word, go into your Bible, start reading, read his word, get comfort from his word. Um, if you need direction on you know who to speak to about it, he will lead you through prayer. He will guide you, he will bring somebody to you. Go speak to your spiritual advisors, go speak to your spiritual mother and your father and your church, you know, let God lead you who to speak to because he will lead you not to speak to people because they will discourage you and they will talk you right out of your blessing. So I would say focus on God. He will comfort you. He will direct you. He will strengthen you. He, you, he will give you joy in this situation. He will give you hope and he will also reassure you that this is what I'm telling you. This is who I have for you. This is the husband for you. Um, you know, speaking to friends and certain people, they may not understand, they may not understand and, um, they may not understand the emotional roller coaster that you're going through. Like it's literally, 
I it's I it's very hard to explain. It's like because you know who the person is, and it's like, dang, like okay, you want to like start. Oh, it's it's just very it's very um it's very hard to explain. So that's why I I literally put down like one two three four five because I honestly can't even express how I feel of my emotions of how I feel because it's very it's very hard to explain. Number two. Pray for him. Pray for that man. There's a reason why God told you who your husband is. And he. there's a reason why you guys are not together. There are reasons why. There's something that you need to work on. There's something he needs to work on. So pray about it. Whatever it is that... His need is today, Lord, you know, I pray that you meet it. Whatever it is that he is struggling with, I pray that it is met. I pray that your spirit turns it around. You know, pray for him. Pray for his future. Pray for him um, in his journey with God. Pray for his strength. Pray for his mind. Pray for that his mind is of a godly mind. Pray that his life is of a godly life. Pray that he turns away from the world. You know, just pray for him. Pray for him in ways that, you know, he may not even be praying for himself. We don't know because we just don't know, you know. So um, I would say pray for him and um, pray for your marriage. Because if this is your husband, obviously you're going to get married. Pray over your marriage. Pray over your children. Pray over your life together. Pray over how you are going to um, be in submission to him. Pray over that. Understand what it is to be submitted to a husband. Understand those, what your role is as a wife. You know, start to delve into those things. And um, as time goes on, it will happen. You know, it will happen. God's promises are real, so it will happen. And these are things I keep telling myself. It will happen. God's promises are real. It will come, it will surely come to pass. And you know, just keep moving forward. Focus on God, pray for him, pray for your marriage, pray for the children. Number three, um, this is number three, only tell people who God leads you to tell. So I know when I was watching some videos on YouTube where, you know, women have um, made videos about how God has revealed to them who their husband was and who their husband is. And they will tell you not to tell anybody this and that and third, but for me, God led me to tell people. He told me to tell them because me bringing them in on my story will increase their faith. It will increase their trust in God because once people start to see what God is doing in my life, they're gonna be blown like, whoa, really? Like she told me this and now this is happening. So only tell God, only tell people God leads you to tell. And everybody is different. Everybody is in a different space and place in their walk with God. Because for me, I may be able to deal with that. I may be able to deal with people telling me, oh, you know, this, he, he's not for you, you know, this and that and that. And I'm like, no, if God told me this is what it is, this is what it is. I may have the strength to do that, you may not. Or the other person may start to get doubtful and discouraged and you know now you're on a dating site and you're missing out on your blessing. So only tell people God leads you to tell and if he tells you to tell anybody at all, he may want you to keep that to yourself. For me, it was different. It was not, that's not, that, that wasn't my, um, where God led me to. I did tell people and yeah, they're waiting in expectation just as much as I am. So <laughs> yeah, um, number four, I would say journal. Journal, write down your emotions, write down what you're feeling, write down how you are feeling angry because you feel you may get angry, you may get, if you feel any type of doubt and you are, you know, God, like, God, is this really going to happen? You know, write it down, you know, and then search scriptures on doubt, search scriptures of God's promises. Like, you know, whatever you do and whatever is going against God's promises, I always, I will always encourage you to go to the Bible and seek the opposite of what God is saying in your life. 
because what if God gave you the promise that means it's a promise of God and it will surely come to pass the enemy will come in different ways they will come in the name of love they will come in the name of doubt they will come in discouragement fear you know I this is taking too long this can't be God you know it, it the, the enemy will come in so many different ways so I would say just journal write scriptures next to the things that you're feeling like if you're feeling doubt if you're feeling fear whatever it is that you're feeling like go and research scriptures that basically go against what it is the enemy is telling you because God's word will again will comfort you it will reassure you it will strengthen you it will direct you it will do all of those things and it will ultimately give you joy and peace it will give you peace over the situation that is number one it will give you peace and i think i have a scripture here um it's isaiah 26 3 it says you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you so to paraphrase this you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you so when you're starting to feel like you know is this really gonna happen you know this is taking so long you know is he does he even know like <laughs> does he even see me does he even think about me like you know it's just God will keep you in perfect peace. Go to his scripture. His scripture and his word will keep you in perfect peace. Pray to him. He will reassure you. He will give you joy and peace over the situation. That is for sure because that is what he's doing for me. Number five, stay in expectation. Stay in expectation of God's promise. He said that this is your husband. Dream, dream. Dream about that wedding. Dream about your children. You know, dream, dream how your relationship is going to be because you dreaming is trusting in God's promise. You dreaming is literally having an imagination of what it is to come. It's good to dream. It's good to have an imagination, like literally capture the moments and put it in the spirit so that when it you literally lock it in the spirit, like this is what's going to happen over my life. It's like you're literally speaking life over the situation. So stay in expectation of what God has told you. Stay in expectation of, you know, who he is over your life and the promises he has spoken over your life. And you doing all of these three these things, focusing on God, praying for him, you know, lead, God leading you to tell certain people and journaling about it, that's all you staying in expectation of what he's told you. So for me, he told me who the person is. I cannot say anything more than that like I, I can't I don't know if the person watches me I don't know so um I don't want to say anything else other than that I am going to make a second video this right after I'm done with this video I will make a second video November 10th I think when I first started was 502 I'm gonna make a video with the person's name in it and everything so that when this actually does come to pass i will post that video so you will have this video first and then when it comes to pass i will post the second video but it will be done the same day i'll be wearing the same clothes so you know it's no funny business going on here um yeah so it was something else i wanted to say um, yeah, I, I like I said, I, I can't say the person's name. I can't say anything like that. Um, I don't know if the person watches me. I have no idea. Um, and for you, it may for you, it may be, you know, I'm not going to say whether I know or not, but I know it may be tough to be around the person. You may see the person at church. You may see the person at the supermarket. You may see the person at work. You may see the person at the doctor's office. I don't know where you know or where you see this person at. I don't know. But for sure, be sure that God is telling you this is the person, right? 
And this is the video for the person who knows that God, it's not like, oh, I think, no. You know that God told you this is who you're marrying and this is your husband, right? So yes, um, just be certain and continue to pray for him. Continue to stay in expectation of the promise. Focus on God, number one. Focus on him. He will keep you in peace. Um, I know it's been many times for me, it's just like, oof, Jesus, like, when is it? So for me also, I can't date. Like, <laughs> I tried to date, like, <laughs> It didn't go well. It didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. It was like, what are you doing? Like, you supposed to be sitting down praying for him. Who I told, like, no, like, no. So for me, everything's dry. Like everything's dry. My love life is dry. Everything's dry because literally, like I said, I have given God my, I have said many my life to Him. So, however He want, He wants to deal and move in my life. That's how it is. So, I'm waiting, and yeah, I'm waiting. That's all I can say. But I do know what He is, and I do pray for Him. I focus myself on God. I pray for Him every day. I pray over our marriage. I pray over our children. I, um, I tell people who I'm led to tell and I say, and I do journal sometimes. I'm not a good writer. I don't write as much as I should be writing, but I do journal sometimes and I do write to him. It's a good thing to do that too. And stay in expectation. I do stay in expectation. That's sometimes very hard to do, but if I keep my focus on God, it's all possible. So yes, this is videos for any female who knows who they are um their husband is and who is waiting continue to wait continue to stay faithful to what god has told you and it will surely come to pass it will come to pass sis it will come to pass it will come to pass it will come to pass so yes if you like this video please like comment and subscribe please push the subscribe button and put on your notification bell so that when a new video comes up you know what's going on so have a great day night or wherever you are be blessed